Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of Kinner's Dinners. Today I'm going to be making a roast dinner for my family and I've decided to make a few videos uh, breaking down the side dishes that can go with pretty much any roast. In this video I'm going to be doing everyone's favourite roast potatoes. Now, when choosing roast potatoes, I hear Maris Pipers are meant to be the best for their fluffy consistency and they roast quite well. Uh, however, I find that you can use pretty much any potato if you really want to. Anything can be roasted. Let's get started. Now, for the amount of potatoes you'll probably want, uh, I've never really been any good at going with weight. So, I usually go by eye. So, unfortunately, I've only really got quite small potatoes left in my uh, pantry uh, so we're going to be using quite a fair few of them uh, and let's get the fun part started try not to peel your finger right once that fun part's done now all you need to do is wash the potatoes of any more starch now the potatoes have been washed and peeled we're going to cut them into similar size shapes to each other. No, that doesn't make sense. Now that we've washed and peeled the potatoes. No. Now that we've peeled and washed the potatoes, we're going to cut them into equal size shapes. With potatoes, you want to keep them quite big, especially when you're getting them roasting, because the bigger the roast potato, the more difference in crispiness to the outside compared to softness on the inside. And that will do. Simple as. Now that that's done, we're going to parboil them for seven minutes in salty water. You want just enough water to cover the entirety of the potatoes. Well, so it's a parboiling. No, I haven't got a clue actually what to say. <sighs> this potato. Once the potatoes have finished parboiling, we're going to want to drain them and leave them to air dry for about two to three minutes. So just don't touch them whilst that happens. So once they've been parboiled, give them a nice quick shake to start getting those little ruffly bits. And you'll start to see after a second or two, all those little indents and flaws, which when you're roasting them, it's going to make them roast really nicely. Whilst that's going on, what you're going to do is, whilst that's going on, what you want to do is get a baking tray or any sort of baking thing, is get a baking tray or casserole dish and use a preferred method of fat to start heating up in the oven. Your choices usually include butter, olive oil, or my personal favorite, goose fat. Now in terms of any other fats, I'm pretty sure you could use any other animal fat and probably get a similar consistency of what you would with any of those fats. It's probably down to taste and choice and obviously whether or not you're a vegetarian. Now I've got a jar of bacon fat which I could potentially use to roast potatoes. I haven't tried it yet. So with your preferred choice of fat, mine being goose fat, what you want to do is just pour a fair bit into your roasting tin or casserole dish. Get your oven mitt and stick that in at either 200 degrees if you have an electric oven, 180 degrees if you have a fan oven or gas mark 5. Or gas mark 6 if you have gas. Now one thing I like to do with roast potatoes is add a little bit of flavour using rosemary, salt and pepper. So I've got some rosemary from my garden and I'm going to peel it and chop it up. Now you don't have to get rosemary from your garden, you can go to your local shop and get rosemary dry or rosemary that's already been cut off the plant. It's entirely up to you. I'm trying this uh, with coronavirus obviously going on, giving the opportunity for us to grow some 
plants in the garden, so using those. Now once you give it five, 10 minutes for your oil or fats to heat up, take them out of the oven. Obviously you want to be very careful when you're dealing with fat that's just come out of the oven. As you can see with mine, or hear it, it's uh, splitting quite aggressively. Then get your roasting potatoes, then be placing them in the fat. Right, add your salt and pepper. And any extra seasoning you might want. Give the roast a good shake. Being very careful with the fat, so not to burn yourself, but also to make sure that the potatoes get all the seasoning on them. And we're going to put on to put them into the oven for about one hour, checking on them every 30 minutes. Remember to keep your oven at 180 degrees or 200 degrees or gas mark 6. About halfway through the roasting process, take your roast potatoes out of the oven and give them a quick squish so they take up more space in either your casserole dish or your baking tray and this allows them to sort of, what's the word, roast more. As you can see, they've been pushed out to take up as much space in the casserole dish as possible. This will allow for much better roasting. And stick them back in the oven for the last 30 minutes. And there we have it. Delicious roast potatoes. Anything left to do with these? Let's plate them up. Thanks for watching.